Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Edget. Today is April 13th, it's Monday, and today starts the first week of mandatory learning virtually. So in this document, I'm going to go over all the assignments that are going to be due next on the end of Sunday, okay, Sunday night. Um, so everything in here is mandatory, which means you do have to complete the work. So I'm going to go over all the directions. You will see there are lots of links for you guys to click on, and this is going to take you right to where you need to get to. So for the assignments for this week, we're going to be continuing to read Fever 1793, and this week you're going to read chapters 19 to 21. Now, just like in class, we will follow along in our books while listening to an audiobook. You guys are going to do the same thing, and here's how you're going to do it. So the first bullet point, you're going to click here, and this is going to bring you to a PDF of chapters 19 to 21. So these chapters are right in here. And then if you go to the second bullet point and click there, it's going to take you right to the audiobook. So you would just want to start at chapter 19, and it'll take you all the way through 21. Okay, so that's for that part. Um, for B, after you're done, finished reading, there are 10 questions that are posted under assignments in Google Classroom for you to complete. The document is titled Fever 1793, Chapters 19 to 21 Questions. So to get there, you can either click here for the assignment, and it'll bring you right there. Or you can just go through Google Classroom, click up to Assignment tab, and you'll see it right there at the top. When you are done this document, you could just turn it in, okay, and then I can go ahead and look at it and grade it. Number two, uh, you guys also need to take your 8.12 vocabulary quiz this week. Now, you can do this any day this week, so if you feel like you are good with the words and you know them, you could take it today. But if you feel like you did not put a lot of studying time into these words, you could take it towards the end of the week. Um, and when, you, when you're ready to take the quiz, you will click here. Now, please note that you can only take this quiz one time, so make sure you're ready to take it when you start it. So I'll just show you how to get into the quiz. You just click here, and it'll take you into a Google form. Number three, extra practice opportunities. So below here, you'll see there's a bunch of links and um, options. Um, when I go over a sample schedule on the next page, I'll tell you to, like on Tuesday, spend 10 minutes on an extra practice opportunity. What that means is you can pick any of these to do for that time. Um, so you have study for a vocabulary quiz, you can read your own book, you can read through Get Epic, you could read through Scope, you could practice on No Red Ink or IXL. And then a the last option is Free Write. Uh, for Free Write, if you click here, it'll take you to three writing prompts. And if you're interested in any of these, you would just click Start Writing here, and it'll open up an, uh, your own document to work in. I know some of you enjoy free writing, so this is something you could do okay, for that, the option for extra practice opportunity. So all these links should be good to go, and they should take you right where you need to. All right, at the bottom, sample schedule. I kind of chunked everything up for you guys and broke it down per day. I would like you to try to follow the schedule as much as possible. I know things look different at home for all of us, so if you can't, that's okay. Just make sure you get them done by the end of the week. But this schedule will pretty much chunk it, so you do 30 minutes four times a week for my class. So Monday will be 30 minutes, Tuesday 30 minutes, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday and the weekend, those are catch-up days. So if you fall behind on anything, if you still need to take your quiz, you can do so on those days as well. So for today, which is Monday, you guys, I would like you to read chapters 19 to 20. I'd like you to study for your vocabulary quiz, and then you can work on an extra practice opportunity of your choice and spend 10 minutes at least on this. All right, so this is just week one, but for all the weeks, you will get a video and a document that looks just like this, um, so it should help us stay on track. If you have any questions about any of this, please reach out to me through email. I should be able to get right back to you. I check my email frequently. All right, well, good luck, you guys, and I hope you have a great week.